Hi there, people. Well, today I'm here to share with you something really fascinating. Take a look at this question. It says, find the locus of the point of intersection of the pair of tangents drawn at the extremities of the focal chord of the given ellipse. Well, let's first discuss the usual mechanical solution that we all are familiar and comfortable with. So starting with this standard horizontal ellipse, here consider AB to be a random focal chord, all right? Now we're gonna draw tangents at point A and at point B. Why? Because we need to consider tangents at the extremities of the focal chord. Both these tangents are gonna intersect each other at an external point, let's call it P. And this is the point whose locus we need to compute. So obviously we're going to consider its coordinates to be H comma K. Now, please realize that with respect to this point P, your AB is the chord of contact. So its equation will be, yes, T equals zero. And how do you get to T equals zero? By using the transformation, replace X square with XX1, Y square with YY1 in the equation of the ellipse. Here, X1, Y1 is nothing but H comma K. So in the equation of my ellipse, I'm gonna replace X square with XH and Y square with YK. What will I get? XH by A square plus YK by B square equals one. This is the equation of my AB chord. But guys, AB is not a random chord, it is the focal chord. That means it is going to pass through either plus AE comma zero or minus AE comma zero. That means the situation is that plus minus AE comma zero happens to satisfy the equation of my AB chord. Which means in place of X, I'm gonna plug in plus minus AE, and in place of Y, I'm gonna plug in zero. When you simplify this equation, what do you end up getting? H equals plus minus A by E. This is the point when you replace H with X, and what you get is your required locus, X equals plus minus A by E. Can you identify what this is? This is representing the equation of both my directrices to the given ellipse x equals plus a by e and x equals minus a by e. So yeah, we are done with our solution. We have got our answer, but hey, is there any way to justify this answer geometrically? Yes, let's talk about that. See, within an ellipse, we have two foci. Let's call them F1 and F2. Starting with all the focal chords passing through F1, you can clearly visualize, guys, that as I keep changing my focal chord, the respective points of intersection of the pair of tangents also change. And as a result, the curve traced by them comes out to be a straight line perpendicular to the x-axis, which is nothing but my first directrix, x equals plus a by e. Similarly, if I move on to the focus F2 and consider all the focal chords passing through F2, then again the same story holds true. As you keep changing F2, what happens as a result is the respective points of intersection of the pair of tangents keeps changing. And when you join all of them, what you end up getting is your next directrix, which is x equals minus a by e. That means the answer that we had obtained previously is absolutely correct. The locus is coming out to be x equals plus minus a by e, which represents the pair of directrices for my given ellipse sitting in option D.